I'm back here. KB. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is uh, the Chop Shop Returns, and it's the cast of characters that you know. We're sitting here. We got five members of the crew here in physical form. One in the essence and the spirit. Word up. I got my man KP. I will redeem myself. The Hitman. What's up, y'all? Mr. Rue. That's right. And y'all know me. Mark, a.k.a. Marky Lowe. My man DJ Don, y'all know him as the hood guru. You know, he's working the cameras as usual. And this young cat right here, that's my oldest son, EJ. What's up, yo? So, we gonna hit it off, man, and talk about the mock draft that our college aficionado that's right. hooked up for us right here. The so, time the time is what? <laughs> I think the time is what now. What time is it? All right. Okay, we're going back to school. Man. Anyway, All right. we're going to start with the number one pick. Number one pick. The number one pick goes to Miami. Now, KP, who did you say was the number one pick that uh, Miami's going to go with? In my mock draft, I put down <laughs> Jake Long. Jake Long, who plays the position of? Offensive tackle, University of Michigan. Now, write it down, EJ. KP goes with Jake Long. Uh, who wants to set this off and say something first about the number one pick and what Miami's going to do with it? Well, can I go first since I was so rudely I mean, called you're insane going. You're going by already. these people who don't know anything? Go ahead, dog. Man, go you got to think like a GM. What is wrong with you people? Y'all ridiculous. Man, it's based on how Parcells thinks. As we know, they're already in contract negotiations with him, so somebody must know something. All right. Well, man, you just wrote that down, man. <laughs> Please. Go ahead, go ahead, man. What you think, man? Man, I would just tell you like this. You know what? I know the Parcells is going to do, um, he's going to try to get as many quality players, you know, so I really think they're going to try to do something with that first pick, in my opinion. You know, they're going to try to do something so they can get more quality players. I don't know if they're going to go. I mean, this draft is whack already as it is. I mean, like we discussed earlier in the in the, in the green room, it's not like you have a lot of true first-round players here other than McFadden and a few others. The first five, maybe. The rest of them, I mean, come on. In any other draft, they might be bumped to the next round. Okay, but they got nine picks. I just counted them. They got nine picks. Nobody's going to play that game anymore. Everybody knows that, how, oh, let me trade down and do it. Nobody's going to do like Jimmy Johnson did in that year. Everybody knows they don't want to get played. So right. you, you work with what you got and you work with the safest pick. That's why I picked it. He figures... I'm going to get the safest, the most durable, and the pick that even if i got to justify spending all this fucking money for a signing bonus, at least it's going to make sense. What you think, Ru? I think Miami's going to uh, 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 get what they need. and I'm kind of in agreement with him, man. I kind of figured, well, Parcells is known for, for making deals. You know what I'm saying? You probably want to get uh, uh, more for less. It's almost like playing poker or whatever, you know. Might use it as a bargaining chip, something to shop with. But on the other hand, I can see your point too, KP, whereas if you're going to get what you need, the foundation starts with the line, whether it's offensive or defensive. So if it's not Jake Long, it may be those other two guys on the other side of the ball, uh, Dorsey or uh, uh, Hobby Long's son. All right, well. Chris Long. Chris Long. I, I got to agree with KP, man. I look at it like. They need a quarterback. They need some receivers. They need they need shit all over the place. Right. And I definitely feel like Parcells ain't gonna fuck with a, a quarterback because he don't even like rookie quarterbacks. He yeah. likes he likes seasoned quarterbacks. Right. Yeah, right. quarterbacks. <laughs> yeah, 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 really. And, and there ain't no receiver really here that's worth the first pick of the draft. Hell you know what no. I'm saying? I mean, if it feels up to Parcells shit. He's just run the ball. Shit. Yeah. So I look at it like with that type of you and throw it. With that type of thinking. With that type of thinking, you can only go with Jake Long. So I feel it's gonna be Jake Long, the number one pick. You can put me down for Jake Long too. And as for Rue and Hitman, you can say there's possible. Put down Trey. It's possible. I mean, possible you know, it trade. might not even be there to trade. Trade. You know what I'm saying? Possible but trade. Possible trade. So uh, a, a PT. Yeah, put down yeah. PT. That'll be for possible trade. Possible. Now we go to pick number two. Hood Guru, would you please? Deuce, deuce. Number two is the St. Louis Rams. These cats, they got rid of Isaac Bruce. Man. My man that played a, a offensive tackle is old. Is he gone? What's my man's name? Hey. 
Orlando Pace. No, he's still there, but he was injured. Matter of fact, is a key. He's still there, but they they gonna groom people for the uh, changeover. They gonna, if I'm not mistaken, he said, "Hey, make your picks like I ain't gonna beat it." That's Pick right, and that's what he said. Yeah. yeah. So the Rams they they let go of Isaac Bruce. Uh, they had a lot of injuries. They weren't necessarily a bad team as much as they were an injured team. Personally, they, they got a good cat to place corner that they got from Clemson, I think, a year ago. Uh, the other corners aren't that bad. Second day, I look at them like... Their defense is not terrible. Their defense isn't terrible. But... So what what would you say? Who did you go with, KP? Okay, I went with... Glenn Dorsey. Glenn right? Dorsey. All right. But the reason I went with Glenn Dorsey... You what guys he play? He plays defensive tackle okay. LSU. The reason I went with him, you got to think, once again, like a general manager, Leonard Little needs help. True. Okay, you got to bring him somebody to where you can have Little, you can have Dorsey, or help put Chris Long in, but you need help. Whereas you got a defensive front where people look at it and say, "Well, hell, we can't go through the middle. We can't run up the middle. Go to the outside. Start somewhere." And the Rams are usually known. Scott Linehan is usually known to start with a foundation like that. What you think, man? I'm gonna tell you like this. I kind of agree with Cappy. If they already got a, 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 a I would say, an average defense that has potential, you know what I'm saying? And that's probably the best aspect of their team right now. I will, I will go ahead and finish that side of it right now, you know, or at least keep that going. So I can go with the uh, the Dorsey thing. You know, I think that that could be something to help them. You know, that if they're going to win any games, they're going to have to do it on the defensive side. And they might even establish a whole new type of uh, um, character, you know what I'm saying, just like the Baltimore Ravens or something, you know. Right. They, they might just become a defensive stopper team, and maybe they keep people to 17 points or less and win a few games. And then next year they're going to, you know, they're going to be back here again. We'll be talking about them. Look, what, it, what it boils down to with the Rams is that what if they rank higher in, offense or defense? Shit, they, they, they rank so, higher in offense. So they were lower in defense. And then they, you got to look at what what area did we give up the most yardage? Was it from the defensive front or from the defensive secondary? Defensive front. Yeah, they, they, People they, ran all over. Well, that will let you know on. what's going to be they their pitch. And what they're going to do is based on Miami. If Miami doesn't get a defensive stopper, the Rams yeah. gonna snatch a defensive stop, stop right? Here, and then I mean, Dorsey. We all agree Dorsey is the number two pick. Dorsey, yes. or, I mean Dorsey or Long. Dorsey or uh, uh, Chris Long. Chris Long. Yeah, the Long. Chris Long. Long. But I, I do right think right. it's Dorsey. Let me yeah. bring this up. Out of the three main play, the three top five players in the defense, which is Dorsey, Long, and and would you say Ellis? Yeah. Or yeah. Ellis. Oh yeah. Okay. Such a Ellis. Yeah. I mean, you know, hey, I. I Maybe it's because I'm an SC fan or something, but yeah. what's the what's the what what is the problem with Cedric Ellis and why they're like you know making Dorsey ahead well, of he, him? Because he did not stand out in the in SC's defensive front like Dorsey stood out in LSU defensive front. Remember, the SEC is always considered the top league amongst the scouts. They always go to the SEC and say, "Man, when I want some football players, I'm going to the SEC first. And they figure we've seen this man play against. Top-notch talent. Who's gonna be in the NFL? And we figure, hell, we gonna have a man. I, I, at least he's been tested. I guess we can have a whole little college thing on that. Cause yeah. no, no, I'm not. A, I'm not an SEC. Memphis, <laughs> Memphis secondary state. You know, <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying. Well, I agree. I agree. Pac-10 you know, to me is amazing. I mean, team. who putting out all the running backs? Well, no, I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. In all, honesty, in all honesty, I bleed SC blood. Right. But that guy at a defensive tackle position took it to motherfuckers. Where Ellis well, I'm, played I'm good enough yeah. for SC to do what they had to do, but Dorsey took it to people. He stopped people. And, and, I yeah. mean, but what I'm, I'm, I'm literally asking because I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I, unfortunately, we out here, you know, I mean, we don't get, you know, all of that. Damn I watched, the dude was a beast. You know what I'm saying? The dude was a beast. So I just really want to he, know. He's a, a Warren Sapp type. Yeah. A baby Warren Sapp. Be a Warren Sapp, Sapp, Sapp type. Yeah. You can't go wrong with yeah. that on your life. And yeah. imagine yeah. having him and Leonard Little I'm together, I'm man. Really Come on. Is Let's it his style of play? Like, is he it? Because he he's a tackle where Ellis could play like a stiller type ball where he could either line down as an end right. or as a linebacker, whereas Dorsey is a tackle. Right, right. He's straight up tackle. Straight up. Out of the four, three. Because they couldn't stay up on it. No, on they, they suck because they suck. They suck. <laughs> they suck, man. They suck. Hey, that was 100% KP right they there. They suck. All right.